Hey, what's up guys? It's Darkroom Duel. Since today we're going to be doing a Dark Paladin deck profile. So I'm really excited for this one because this is actually one of my favorite cards in the entire game of Yu-Gi-Oh! And one of the cards that I've had ever since I first started playing is just a fantastic, awesome card and still really good to this day if you can get it on the field, especially in a deck like this that focuses primarily around summoning it to your side of the field as quickly as possible. I'm really excited to bring this one to you guys too because it's kind of like a hybrid build where you can play the Buster Blader cards and go into Dark Paladin as well, which is really, really really nice. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell in there so you can come part notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome words like in your name, description, any single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, or even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your patron along with test hands. So without further ado guys, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Buster Blader. So you got to play three copies of Buster Blader because it's the main card that you're going to be using to fusion summon in this deck. And it has the ability that gains attack equal to the amount of monsters in your opponent's graveyard and their side of the field that are dragon type monsters times 500 which is really really good to be able to get this card on your side of the field because it can get really big and it's the main card that you're going to be using to fusion summon into your copy of dark paladin so it's very very important we're then going to be playing three copies of dark magician dark magician is a really good card in this deck too because it's the one of the other monsters that you're going to have to play on the deck to be able to fusion summon into your copy of dark paladin really quickly we then play a single copy of Red Eyes Black Dragon. Red Eyes Black Dragon is a card that you're going to be using to go into your copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoons. And you do need this card as a one of in this deck to be able to go into that card. It's very important because it's kind of like the retrain of Dark Paladin in a way. So it is kind of important for this particular deck. And it also gives you negations on your side of the field. So you can make sure your copy of your prologue goes off so you can summon off your copy of the Buster Blader Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. We then play two copies of Apprentice Illusion Magician. Apprentice Illusion Magician is really good too because you discard a card from your hand to special summon this card and once you special summon this to your side of the field you get to add a dark magician from your deck to your hand which helps out the deck a lot just to give you a dark magician searcher and it also has a really neat effect as well that if this card is on the field or in your hand and a dark spellcaster type monster battles an opponent's monster you can send this card to the graveyard and make that spellcaster gain 2,000 additional attack points which is a really really good effect just to be able to give it those extra boost we then play three copies of magician soul as well we're going all out with this deck, guys. So Magician Soul has a really neat effect that you can send up to two Speller Traps from your hand or Field of the Grave to draw that many cards. And if this card's in your hand, you can send one level six or higher Spellcaster monster from your deck to the graveyard to activate one of these effects. Either Special Summon this card or Special Summon a Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl from your graveyard. So basically, you're using this card's effect to be able to Special Summon out the copy of the Dark Magician to your side of the field and get a Fusion Material to be able to go off into all sorts of crazy plays. We then play three copies of Buster Whelp. Buster Whelp is really important for this particular build because it's your main normal summon that you're going to be going for in this deck. Because when this card is normal summoned, you get to add a destruction sword card from your deck to your hand, which is very important for this deck to be able to add stuff like your prologue from your deck to your hand. It also has the ability that you can use one of the following effects once per turn. Either tribute this card, special summon a Buster Blader from your hand or grave, or if this card's in the grave and you control a Buster Blader, you can discard any destruction sword card to special summon this card back to your field. But mainly you're just using this to normal summon to grab prologue. We then play a single copy of the Dragon Buster of the Destruction Sword. It is not quite as consistent as it used to be with Union Carrier being banned now, but it's still really good as a one of in this deck because when it's equipped to a monster, it does make your opponent where they cannot special summon from the extra deck, which is really good. We then play three keepers of Dragon Magic. Keeper Dragon Magic is a really nice effect that if this card is normal or special summon, you can discard a card to add a polymerization, normal spell, or a fusion spell from your deck to your hand. And also it has the ability that you can reveal a fusion monster in your extra deck to special summon a fusion material specifically listed from that from your graveyard and face down defense position which is a very good effect just to be able to get you those additional monsters on your field so you can go into fusion plays really really easily this card can pretty much be a one card dragoons because you can discard a copy of a dark magician to the graveyard to be able to add a polymerization from deck to hand when then you can revive that dark magician back in the graveyard and face down defense and then use polymerization to fusion summon into a copy of dragoons so this card is ridiculously good in this deck we then play three copies of King of the Swamp. King of the Swamp is really good because if you can, if you don't have one of the materials that you need, you can use this card as a substitute material for either the Dark Magician, the Red Eyes, or the Buster Blader to fusion summon into a copy of your copy of the uh, Dragoons or your copy of your Dark Paladin. 
We didn't play three copies of Jester Comfy. Jester Comfy is really good too because you can special summon this card to your side of the field. And it gives you basically that added bonus monster on your side of the field to go into your copy of Buster Welt because you have a bunch of different normal summons in the deck, but you also need the special summons to be able to go into Anaconda to be able to use its effect to go into Dragoons or Dark Paladin in your deck. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of Red Eyes Fusion. It is to go into Dragoons, and this card is very important for this particular deck to be able to go into your copy of Red Eyes Dark Dragoons so you can go into Dark Paladin really quickly afterwards. We play a single copy of Destruction Swordsman Fusion. Destruction Swordsman Fusion lets you fusion summon into one monster that lists Buster Blader as a fusion material from the extra deck using monsters in your hand or either side of the field as a material. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to the grave to add this card back to your hand. So it's kind of like a super polymerization with a Buster Blader archetype uh, archetype log. We then play a single copy of Magicalized Fusion. I did bump Magicalized Fusion down to one in this particular build because it lets you fusion summon a spellcaster monster from your extract by managing materials listed on that card from your graveyard, which is really cool, or field. So basically it's like a miracle fusion for spellcasters, which is a really easy way to go into a, an additional copy or your first copy of Dark Paladin. We then play three copies of Polymerization. Polymerization is just ridiculous helpful in this deck because you're going to be able to use this card to go into your copy of Dark Paladin really, really easily. Uh, we're going to be playing three copies of Fusion Deployment just to round out the spells. The copies of Fusion Deployment are very important because you reveal any of your uh, Fusion Monsters in your extra deck and you can special summon one of the materials from the deck. So for example, if I have a Buster Blader and a Polymerization in my hand, I can reveal a copy of the Dark Paladin to special summon a copy of Dark Magician from the deck and then use the Polymerization with my copy of Buster Blader to go directly into Dark Paladin, but I can only summon Fusion Monsters for S turn, which is not that big of a deal. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So with the traps, we're going to be playing two copies of Destruction Sword Memories. Destruction Sword Memories helps out the deck a lot because it has the ability that you can banish this card from your graveyard to fusion summon a Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, from your extra deck by banishing materials listed on this card from the graveyard, which is really cool to be able to just banish a Dragon Monster and a copy of a Buster Blader from the graveyard to immediately go into the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. It also has an effect that you can discard a Destruction Sword card to special summon a Buster Blader monster from your deck, which can help out in this deck quite a lot just to immediately get you a copy of Buster Blader. We then play three copies of Prologue of the Destruction Swordsman. This card is also very important for this deck because it's probably one of the most important cards in the deck outside of using your copies of say Polymerization to go into additional plays for Dark Paladin. But basically what this card does is it sends a Destruction Sword and a Buster Blader monster from your deck to the grave and then you get to special summon a Buster Dragon to your side of the field. So you always want to send a Dragon monster plus a copy of, or you send the Destruction Sword card, plus a Buster Blader monster, or if you don't have the Dragon Monster, or you already had the Dragon Monster in the graveyard, you can send the Destruction Sword Memories to be able to immediately fusion summon into your copy of your Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. So you have a lot of different options with this card. We then play three copies of Trap Trick as well. The Trap Tricks are basically here to search your copy of Prologue, which is a very good card. I was playing Destruction Sword Flash, but I bumped them out for copies of Jester Confi just to give me that additional ability to go into my copy copies of Anaconda, so I always have access to a Polymerization or Magical Eyes Fusion or Red Eyes Fusion to go into all those really good plays. So that's it for the traps, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing two copies of Dark Paladin because you can actually make two copies of Dark Paladin, which is really, really nice for this deck. It has some really good effects that um, this monster cannot be special summoned except by fusion summon, and as long as this card remains face on the field, you negate the activation of one spell card and destroy it by um, by discarding one card from your hand, and the attack of this card is increased by 500 points for each dragon type monster on the field and in either player's graveyard. So this card can get really, really big. It also negates spells, which is really good as well, and it's just an overall really awesome card. We're then playing the retrain, I guess you would say, of Dark Paladin, which is Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon has some really good effects as well that's basically a big tank it has pretty much four effects it's an omni negate if you discard a card from your hand it has the ability to pop a card on the field for every normal monster that's put into this and it burns your opponent for whatever the damage of the monster was that it popped and it has the ability can't be destroyed by battle by card effects and neither player can target this card with card effects as well which is really good and if it does throw the omni negate it also gains a thousand attack which is ridiculous we then play two copies of buster blader the dragon destroyer swordsman dragon destroyer swordsman is really easy to summon in this deck and must be 
fusion summon and cannot be special in other ways. And also, it can't attack directly. It gains a thousand attack and defense for each of the dragon type monsters in your opponent controls or in their graveyard. And it changes all monsters that are dragon monsters your opponent controls in defense position. And also, dragon type monsters um, your opponent cannot ch activate their effects or change your battle position and inflicts piercing damage. This card just basically gives all the uh, dragon like destruction. Like, it's going to destroy all the dragons. We then play two copies of Buster Dragon. Buster Dragon is really good in the deck, too. Because it makes all the monsters your opponent controls dragons. So it boosts up the attack of your Dark Paladin. It boosts up the attack of your uh, Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. And it also can special summon a Buster Blader from your graveyard to your side of the field. If you don't already control one, which is pretty good. Or it can target one of your Buster Blader monsters and equip it with one Destruction Sword monster from the graveyard. Which is a quick effect to get your copy of your Destruction Sword on your Buster Blader so they can't special summon the extra deck. I'm then playing a single copy of Red Eyes Flare Metal. Flare Metal is actually really neat in this deck because you can special summon back your Red Eyes from the graveyard and it burns your opponent for 500 every time they breathe. We then play a single copy of Unicorn which balances stuff. IP Mascarena because you can make Mascarena and then go into Unicorn which is pretty good and it doesn't care if you use normal monsters to link summon into this. Two copies of Anaconda. Anaconda is just good as a two of in here because it's easy to summon Dragoons in this particular deck really like amazing and also gives you a lot of different utility for polymerizations magicalized fusions to go into your dark paladin which is also great a single copy of uh, protector whelp protector whelp is just really good for the buster blader engine and then to round it all off one copy of link rebo which is just awesome so that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoy it it's a really fun deck to play with i highly recommend if you guys love dark paladin you should definitely pick it up i just couldn't resist playing the buster blader engine in here and giving you guys an update of this because it's just really good good and really fun to play you do usually open up with the dragoons and then a dark paladin beside it which is just ridiculously good in this particular deck because you have double negations and then during your opponent's turn you just immediately go into your copy of your uh buster blader the dragon store swordsman and lock your opponent down which is really really fun so anyways guys this is darkroom duels don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell on your scene come part notification squad and definitely tell me what you think of this deck down in the comments down below and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys